Hi, Karen over here at Tinker Mom. Today we're gonna go over the Ozobot Evo. We have this little guy in black and we have him in white. My kids got them a few years ago for Christmas and we got them in different colors because they were still at that age where their robot was important to them. So we got them in colors so they could distinguish whose robot was whose. Um, one of the reasons I like this little guy is first of all, his size. I live in a townhouse. We don't have a whole lot of room. So this guy is tiny, so he doesn't take up a lot of room. And that means he's able to go places with the kids if they wanna take something with them. And he can be a lot of fun without taking a device with you. So you can download a program onto your tablet and code using a Blockly site type language. Um, on your tablet. But the thing that I really like about this guy is that you can use just paper and markers and do some line following code. So my kids really liked or went through a huge phase where they love to watch videos on line following robots. The fact that they went through these mazes and how accurate they were was kind of amazing to them. So to be able to have something that was small and something that they could explore with on their own was very important. So today we're going to go over a little bit about the various codes that you can use and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks of how to fix issues when you are coding because let me tell you, it can be frustrating when you get to the very bottom of a maze or something that you're trying to build with your kids and it's not, that last piece of code isn't working. And instead of starting all over again with your six-year-old, there's some ways that you can fix it without having to start over again. And different ways that you may need to tinker or trick, mess with it just to make it to work. And I think it's important to show kids that sometimes things fail or don't work quite as intended and that we can fix them without getting very upset. So let's get to it and let's code some robots. So this is the Ozo code sheet for the Ozobot. It does show you the different codes that you can use for speed, direction, timers, some cool moves, wins and exits, and counters. So we're gonna use this to make some nice code to use with our Ozobot. So here it's important to notice that the light is going to read the color that it's over. So as it's going along, it's reading the colors and it's blinking that LED, the color it's reading on the path. So these are just very few examples. Now, as you turn around, you'll notice that that Nitro Boost, which is that last unlisted one, is now going to be a snail because it's reading it in the order that it was drawn. So while the snail at the very top and the one at the bottom look the same, red one way it's a turbo or a nitro boost and the other way it's a snail. So here we have a more complicated trail and I had to go in and smooth out one of the lines because they kept going off course. So this is one way that you are going to might have to tinker and smooth out lines while you'll be working. If you also notice down at the bottom we're, we're coming up on, you can see some tape. Well, I drawn in a spin, so here it comes to the spin, but it wasn't reading it. So I just drew it out on another piece of paper, cut it out, and taped it down. Now initially while I taped it down, I taped straight across, but it was the wheels were losing traction on the line. And when it would do this, which is a tornado, because it's reading it, remember the opposite direction, it would fall off the line and have to stop. So then I pulled the tape off gently and added it to the side so it wouldn't slide off. Because it keeps going through, it's going to just keep going back and forth because at the ends I did a U-turn. So it is a nice little loop. It's um, a good way to practice different kinds of um, lines and challenges. And this was just really experimenting with speed and maybe a little bit of celebration because my kids love to celebrate. And then finally we have this board that it came with. It already has some lines on it. It's meant for them just to explore and play without you really having to interact very much. As you can see we have the black one. He's out there. He's finding lines. I've never fully understood what the purpose of the dots and the boards are. They do seem to tell the robots to do something. 
and my kids just, you know, we like to just watch this go around and, and play. So I'm hoping that you found this helpful and that you would like to see more. If you'd like to see more content on Ozobox, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below where you would like to see um, what other kind of content you'd like to see. I think next we're going to hit up doing maybe some broccoli with the Ozobot so that you can see how it works um, and possibly play along with it. These are social robots, so they do like to play and talk to each other. Although apparently when I first started to try to get them to play today, they were both being a little antisocial. Maybe they hadn't had enough coffee or something when it was time to get out there and play. As you can see, that white one's just hanging out over there, not doing much. But I want to let you know that I really appreciate watching my videos. Comment on what you'd like to see next. Click subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a robotastic day.